financial service providers need to consider utilizing common avenues of cost absorption that is now driving some less competitive lenders into distress, according to Patrick Muheri, the chairman of the Uganda Bankers Association. So we now have six loss-making banks in the industry, six or seven um, out of 24 banks. I think that's a troubling trend. A uh, cost income ratio of 79% uh, versus a global average of 50. That shows you that we have a cost problem in Uganda. Um, the good news is that at the Uganda Bankers Association level, we're starting to have these discussions about how do we collaborate more? Should we be sharing ATMs, sharing data centers, so that we can reduce this duplication effect, which is one of the reasons why there's a high cost to income ratio. Mweheire, also Stanbic's managing director, highlighted these concerns. As Stanbic announced an after-tax profit of 215 billion shillings, revealing that keeping interest charges on credit at lower rates, among other strategies, played a part. We're driving a lot on bank assurance, on trade finance, different revenue streams that can give us more momentum on growth, our, our, our distribution channels, getting them more efficient and driving digitalization and agency banking for our customers. Even with an 8% growth in customer deposits, at 3.9 trillion shillings up from 3.6 trillion in 2017, business owners are also being advised on better entrepreneurial skills. So that I think to me is to, to balance as you, as you grow your business, especially an SME, is try to balance uh, retaining, which in ordinary language would be saving, and borrowing. And the more, the more you are able to retain, uh, the better you are capacity to borrow. Raina Ojon, NTV Business.